Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, six things that you need to know if you are starting off with succulents or if you are a beginner or if you're just planning to get some succulents, what are the things that you need to remember? Now guys, the first and the most important thing is selecting the right type of succulent. As we have already spoken about this earlier as well, uh, if you are a beginner, please refrain from using succulents that are hybrids. Uh, there are a lot of succulents that are hybrids and can be little difficult for a lot of beginners. I already have a playlist of uh, succulents that are easy and that you can purchase if you are a beginner. But please refrain from buying any kind of hybrid varieties, especially the Aguides varieties because they can be a little difficult. So when you're choosing a succulent, uh, you have to ensure that what kind of environment you have, whether the succulent will be comfortable in that uh, environment. If you are from a very warm and humid environment, you have a slightly less choice of succulents. But if you are from a cooler, dry environment, then you will have a upper hand in growing succulents because definitely you can grow more succulents if the environment is dry and cool. But please don't be disheartened in case if your environment is not very appropriate for growing succulents, you can always grow them indoor provided you have a good quality of grow light. So the first tip what I would give is always ensure that you check what type of succulent you want to buy. What is the type of light conditions you have at your place? What is the type of environment you have? And you'll have to select your succulents accordingly. A lot of succulents do not like an uh, environment that has too much of humidity. Uh, they prefer a slightly drier environment, so you'll have to choose a succulent accordingly. If not, you can always grow it indoor under a grow light. So the first point is choosing the right type of succulent. I would say always go for the easier succulents. I do have a playlist. You can check my videos. Uh, there are a couple of succulents that I have labeled them as easy. You can go for those succulents. So now that you have figured out what kind of succulents you want to buy and what are going to work out really well in your environment, the next thing is the pot. Now always ensure that you the first option should be earthen pots because they tend to work out really well. Uh, earthen pots, clay pots, concrete pots, uh, unglazed clay pots or terracotta pots are the best choice for succulents because they are porous in nature. They are breathable. They tend to absorb excess moisture from the soil and hence they tend to work out really well for your succulents. So if you are uh, planning to buy some pots or uh, your first preference should always go with earthen pots because they tend to work out really well they are very porous in nature they do not get heated during the summers if they are out in morning direct sunlight let's say that uh, your pots tend to get heated up uh, i have found that uh, the terracotta clay pots or concrete pots do not get heated as compared to plastic and ceramic pots so these pots also tend to stay relatively cool as compared to other material pots so if you have a choice of uh, getting earthen pots then i think this is going to work out really well for you so you can try for a pot that is an earthen pot but ensure that there is a drain hole present in your pot now the next and the most important thing is the soil mix. Now guys, you have to ensure that your soil is very gritty, very loose and very porous because this is going to be the foundation of your succulents. So as you can see how my soil mix is very, very loose, very porous, very gritty, very grainy. This is basically 80% of uh, aquarium sand and 20% of filtered garden soil. So your soil has to be very, very loose, very free flowing. The moment you tend to squeeze it between your palm, it should break and fall apart. So as you can see, the soil is very gritty, very loose. This is basically the foundation of your garden. This is the foundation of your succulent garden. So you have to have a soil that is very loose, free flowing, porous, well draining and should dry out fast. So you cannot have a soil that tends to retain moisture. You cannot have a soil that tends to get compact. If you're going to have that soil, then definitely your succulent is going to struggle in that uh, kind of a mix. So you need to have a very, very well draining, porous and loose soil. So now that we have spoken about the choice of succulent, the type of pot, the type of soil, the next most important thing is light. Now, majority of the succulents prefer a good amount of light. Uh, Preferably would be morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after acclimating it. But indirect bright light is also absolutely fine. Filtered light is also absolutely fine. But definitely low light conditions are not going to work out for a lot of succulents. Including the green colored succulents, they do not prefer direct sunlight. But they do prefer a good amount of indirect bright light. As we have spoken about this earlier as well. 
green colored succulents do not like direct sunlight but that does not mean that they would do well in low light so if you are from a place wherein you do not receive a lot of light then before buying succulents you have to have a setup for the light uh, be it in a form of indirect bright light be in the form of direct sunlight be in the form of filtered afternoon sunlight or in the form of artificial lights which are grow lights at all given point of time there has to be light for your succulents otherwise your succulents will not stay compact they are not going to have the color they will start to stretch and they are going to look leggy so it's the most important part that the light has to be present that is why when you're choosing your succulent you have to choose succulents like let's say you do not get a lot of direct sunlight you only tend to get indirect bright light then probably you can go with Havartias you can go with a lot of uh, uh, succulents that are slightly greener in color but let's say that you have a grow light you have direct sunlight then obviously you have more chances of increasing your collection so the light is the most important part a lot of succulents prefer a good amount of 5 to 6 hours of morning direct sunlight or 8 to 9 hours of indirect but bright light for all the succulents light is the most important part you cannot afford to grow a succulent wherein the light conditions are very very less so there has to be a good amount of intense either intense morning direct sunlight for five to six hours or if you do not have any option then grow lights is your last option now the next thing that you want to keep in mind especially if you're a beginner this is going to be slightly tricky because when you start uh, growing succulents it's very different from your regular plants they do not like a lot of watering our regular plants like a lot of watering this is where it gets little tricky if you're initially starting to keep succulents so watering is another important point now always remember a lot of succulents prefer their soil to be completely bone dry before watering again some varieties like um, uh, let's say sedums or havartias if there is a little bit of moisture it's okay but not for a lot of succulents like echuarias graptovarias graptopetalums they do not like a lot of moisture in the soil the soil has to be completely bone dry before you water now this is going to come with experience initially it is going to be slightly tricky when to water when not to water apart from that you also have to balance that the succulent is not getting over watered too much the succulent is not getting excessively under watered now when you tend to see that your succulent soil is completely bone dry just go ahead and use any bottle that has a nozzle like this and water only the soil remember guys only the soil a lot of people might get away with watering the succulents from above that depends from environment to environment if you are from a very humid and warm environment and if you water your succulents from above there is a high chance that the succulent will get rotted so you have to be extremely careful never uh, do something what other person is doing you first need to understand what kind of environment you are in the safest option is to just water the succulent soil you can just water from the edges like this and then just water the soil do not drop any water on the succulent leaves now i belong to a tropical environment i cannot afford to drop water or water my succulents from above because there is a high chance that the succulents will get rotted so i always tend to water uh, my soil only now i'm not doing a complete watering but uh, you might have seen my other videos you have to water until the water starts passing through the drain hole so once your soil is completely bone dry you go ahead and water the soil until the water starts passing through the drain Drain hole that means that you have done a complete watering after that you just set your succulent aside let the soil dry completely before you water again and remember the soil has to be completely bone dry in case if you're worried that you're going to be over watering your succulent then always look out for the signs the lower leaves will have wrinkles that indicates that your succulent wants water so with the moment you notice that the lower leaves are starting to get wrinkled so you have to water uh, completely until the water starts passing through the drain hole once the water passes through the drain hole that indicates that your complete soil in the pot is wet and now it is time for it to be kept aside and let the soil dry completely completely bone dry before you water again so that is pretty simple initially it's going to be tricky for a lot of people but as in when you start getting an experience it will be very easy for you to understand when and when not to water if you're still very confused about uh, wrinkles on the leaves then you always have a moisture meter which you can purchase online just stick the moisture meter into the soil it will read how much of moisture is present in the soil uh, for majority of the succulents the moisture should be almost zero uh, and then you can go ahead and do the watering now the last and the most important part is to groom your succulents now when we say grooming your succulent it doesn't mean that you are going to uh, you know pamper them too much when we talk about grooming it's just that you do a visual check the moment you see that there are dry leaves you just take out the dry leaves out 
it's very important to clear the dry leaves so this is considered as the part of grooming your succulents now while you groom your succulents it's also very important that you check uh, if there are any bugs if there are any infestations so if you tend to see any pest attack uh, go for any organic solution you can also do uh, the sprinkling of dry cinnamon powder once every three weeks or once every four weeks but it's very important that you clear off all the dry leaves you can see there are a couple of uh, dry leaves that uh, need to be cleared up so once we clear all those dry leaves uh, this is the part of grooming your succulents because as you can see this particular succulent has a lot of pups beneath so i always have to do a visual check i'm not going to be separating them right away but uh, i will do it later on but uh, you can see the amount of pups so these are all the dry leaves that we have collected from this so it's very important that you clear the dry leaf this is equally important for the health of your succulent uh, because a lot of times um, the bugs can tend to hide in between of the succulents uh, the dry leaves tend to work as a very good uh, safe haven for a lot of bugs so it's always better to do a uh, a routine check clear off and groom your succulents and once in a while you can also blow off all of the dust from the succulent leaves because they tend to collect a lot of dust so it's always better to clean this so this is the part of grooming uh, just blow off all the dust clean off all of the dry leaves and also check if there are any bugs or anything if you tend to see that uh, use your organic solution or apart from this you can even put some dry cinnamon powder on the top layer of the soil once every three weeks or once every four weeks this tends to keep pests bugs ants mold fungus away uh, again that has to be done on a regular basis every three or four weeks so these are all the part of grooming uh, for your succulents and that is going to work out really well it's very important to be very vigilant your succulents tends to give a lot of signs so never ignore those signs so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting